Hello everyone, it's Michael Teal with Presentation Plus Ups. In this episode, I am going to show you how you can indeed change presenter modes in Microsoft Teams on the fly and put yourself inside that screen share. I'm excited for this, let's get started. Hi everyone, I have invited myself to a meeting with a guest laptop. So right now we are going to go ahead and step through how the different presenter modes work and how you can switch them on the fly. Okay, so the first step is you have to screen share something. So I'm going to do that right now. Just give me a second, bring that up, present something to you. Okay, so you can see right now I am in the screen share. Congratulations. If you look on over that way, I am now just a little icon. I am featured in the middle. This is a massive, massive win for you. Now, the one thing I mentioned last week that is indeed not true, and I need to own up to it, is that you can switch content on the fly. It's not super intuitive, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and we're just stepping through a couple of slides here. So here's the main focus. And I've had to approximate this with a slide. So what you're gonna wanna do is you, you can see a little red rectangle. I've made this up in PowerPoint as a composition, but you need to take your mouse here and you need to hover it on that line you need to walk that line for a precious few seconds. And when you do that, it gives you the ability to switch content presenter mode. So right now I'm gonna go into standout mode and you can see it gives us the ability to be in front of your content. Now, as you typically know, when it comes to Microsoft, they're not the king and queen of green screen. They give you a, a, a functional immediate green screen. There's very poor keying out of content. So you just, you know, it's, it's built for the every man type thing. And that's the blessing and curse of Microsoft. They are indeed one of the most valuable companies, if not the most valuable company on earth. So not gonna challenge what they're doing here. Um, but the fact is, if you wanna keep switching content, well, we just need to hover up on that little red line. Something that you probably can't see from my version is I get a little dynamic view of that. And yeah, I can go over right now into reporter mode and switch it up. And if I want to switch back into the overall side by side mode, which is my personal favorite, because then you're not messing with that green screen concept. You have the ability to personalize your background and have your content right, right immediately over here to you in, in terms of being intuitive. So I think that's a win for you. And if you want to go to just pure content where well, you can hover up there and go to a straight up good old fashioned screen share and be one of the little tiles again over on the side. So I'm just gonna hover back over side by side. I think this is my personal favorite. And yeah, you can step through the content. Now, one bonus thing, I want you to look at very carefully since we are recording an actual guest laptop to make this happen, is I do want you to notice this, that uh, yeah, the frame rates, you know, I've got some slides that have some pretty sophisticated morph animations going and teams in screen share mode will fight that quite a bit. I've got other videos that show you how to work around this and have buttery smooth transitions and whether it's teams or zoom, but this is not gonna give you, if you're looking for super sophisticated, elegant s slides that really whiz and whir, then um, you've gotta go to some of my other tricks. And I'd encourage you to check out those on presentation plus ups, like, subscribe, hit that notifications button right now. Okay, so as you can see, it's not as professional as having a broadcast studio such as OBS Studio, where really on a click, you can just switch up and have that dynamic movement in the presence, but as, far as the non-professional, the layman, the person who just wants to be able to screen share, be featured in their presenter mode, it's a good start, right? So I would recommend it. I, I wanna give some kudos here, some well-deserved kudos to Microsoft Teams for doing that. Hopefully you enjoyed that mode. For me, I'm gonna stick with OBS and having a home studio. I love the flexibility of being able to queue up videos and audio and all that. That's today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. So in the meantime, thanks so much. Make it a great day.